welcome back to my channel my name is Rosa aka therapy and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how I achieved this popping Bantu knot out I'm so pumped right now because Bantu knots have been a style that I have struggled with for the length of my natural hair journey. So from transitioning to being fully natural, Bantu knots is something that I was never really good at or I could get popping results, but thanks to Rona, I had time to practice and yes. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieve these curls, please keep watching. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And yeah, let's get into this video. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you already know what products I used for this Bantu Knot out. I'm using TGIN products. I'm using a leave-in conditioner, a mousse, and a curl refresher spray. But you can use any brand that you like. So as far as parting, I ended up having about nine Bantu knots in all. I, if I did the style again, I would probably shoot for about 10, only because the section that I'm currently combing out was a little bit on the big side compared to the other ones. So I could have split that one into two. When I apply the products, I am very light-handed when it comes to the amount of products that you apply for the style. You do not want your hair to revert back. As you see, I am working on blown out or stretched hair. And so you don't want to add too much of either of these two products or your hair can revert. So I used one pump of the mousse and a little bit of the leave-in conditioner. Just enough to ensure that the curl will hold but without completely dampening my hair or hold it, weighing it down. So I am going to show you guys a closer look at how I actually install the Bantu knot. I, with this one though in particular, I ended up taking it out because it was a little bit too loose. You don't want the Bantu knot to be too loose or the curls will not um, have the opportunity to really form and they, you know, they're going to drop really quickly. And then you also don't want them to be twirled too tightly because that causes tension, um, hair breakage, as well as um, when you unravel the bantu knot, it'll be like a really, really tightly wound thing that's just gonna create a bunch of frizz. So let's bring you guys in closer so you can really see how to create the bantu knot. So this one right here, I wound a little bit too tight and you'll see me take it out because as I started to wrap it around, it just made it even tighter to the point that I was not gonna be able to successfully wrap the length of this section comfortably without causing any tension. So as you're wrapping, and if you feel that tension starting to become somewhat unbearable, and you're not even finished wrapping the hair, just take it out and start over. Also want to ensure that your hair is nice and detangled because if you try to do these Bantu knots and your hair is not detangled, when you take them down, you're not gonna like the results. So yeah, I would say basically lightly um, twist your hair to about the mid length of that section of hair and then start creating the Bantu knot. I found that was the easiest and best option and the results are going to be flawless. I am making sure I detangle the ends because we don't want straggly knotty ends when we take these down either so 
And then as you guys saw in the first Bantu knot clip, I am securing my ends with a rubber band. Just taking that rubber band and popping it on there so that it stays in place. I'm not wrapping it, I'm not putting it on there twice, just opening it up, popping it on there, and it will be good from there. So this is what my hair is looking like after I finished installing. I had nine in total, three in the middle, three on each side. I'm going to take that curl refresher spray and lightly spritz the bantu knots just to give them um, a little bit more moisture and also allow them to set in place. And I sat under my hooded dryer for about an hour, but you can easily keep them in for the whole day, sleep on them. It's not going to take a whole bunch to help them dry, but I needed to get this the footage out for a post, so that's why I am under the dryer. Now let's talk about the takedown. So these are super easy to take down. You simply find the ends of it and unravel in the opposite direction that you twisted the Bantu knot. And if your unraveled Bantu knot looks anything like this one, then you probably did a very good job and your curls will be definitely wearable. Like, look at this thing. I, it's just so bouncy, so juicy. Let me give you a closer look. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. So once you get to this step, what I do is try to bring my, um, rub my fingers down the length and kind of gently unravel it so that it's as straight as I can get it without disturbing the curls. And once I can separate the curls without causing too much frizz is when I find a piece, split it, twirl it around my finger in the direction of the actual curl. Kind of like the same thing you do when you take out twist outs or um, perm rods. You just, you know, twirl it back and reform the curl because we did unravel it and turn it in the opposite direction. So you just want to ensure that the curl is directed back into the direction that you want it to be in, if that makes sense. And so I'm simply just separating, twirling and fluffing each section until we get our final results. shocked in a, a great in a pleasant way I should say I am like loving these results I can't remember doing a band scene not out that looked this good like okay I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the products that I used or any of the techniques that I used to achieve these curls, please leave them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. And yeah! Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.